Hello everyone, here is a video that was requested by Earth Enthusiast 2020 off topic, but this could apply to anyone. And that is to see whenever a 1960s Pifco whirlwind versus an S versus a regular cheap SMC fan, which is better. Well let's take a look, shall we? First off, let's look at the different parts. Here's the base of the old fan. Metal in construction. The buttons are plastic. Look at this. All plastic in construction. With, of course, plastic buttons. These ones go 0, 1, 2, 3. These ones go 0, 3, 2, 1. Or 0, max, medium, minimum, depending on how you say it. This is a better looking fan, this fan's a beautiful looking fan. I still like the look of these, but honestly this fan just looks way better. If you look at the grills, not fingerproof at all. This one's a bit. That's the blade cap, that's what holds the blades on. And if you look, that is what holds the blade on of that fan. Now I can't demonstrate oscillation because what well, the feature doesn't work. Even though it looks easy, just attach this arm onto here. I wish I could just do that, but so, but as, that's not the only disconnected part. Before I took it apart to clean it, I tested it with oscillation where it was connected, no response from it. So I think there's probably a missing cog in the inside the oscillation mechanism. I just haven't been in there yet. If we take a look at the base. That's how this fella is. Pretty flimsy plastic. Let me take a look. Solid metal in construction. This one's licensed by Westinghouse. This one's made by SMC. And if you take a look, this this fang has solid built blades. This fang has cheap flimsy blades. And I'll show you the side view of both of these fans. Notice how much heavier this older fan is compared to this one. And that's a good thing that this one's heavier. Because that means it's more dense in construction than this fan. And this fan is pretty cheap in construction. It's still better than the modern fan, but not as good as a proper vintage fan, because these fans are pretty cheap. Don't worry about that, that's just how I got it and I couldn't be asked to remove it. If you take a look at the blade pitch of this fan, just look how thick those blades are. Look how thin they are here. The pitch, it, there's more pitch on the Pifco than the CED, as we can see. And I'll show you the back of you. We can see the handles. Notice how good this handle is. Like you can grip the entire handle. And notice how terrible this handle is. That's a terrible handle. And the thing that really annoys me about these fans is these clips. Because of that, this rattles. And it's insanely annoying, it's irritating. But it's not the only thing. This fella has a noise with the oscillation, but it also is irritating. But this one is worse. This is Gavents, took a to the cheap fan. This is Gavents, took a vintage fan. Has a cord coming outside. This one does not, because it's stuffed through here. To adjust McNall, to adjust it, it's got a screw, this one. So this one is easier to adjust. But this one is better, because this, this fan, the problem I have with these fans is they don't stay in place, and they're just annoying. This fan's made in Taiwan. This fan's made in China. Next up, I'll show you the information sticker of these fans. The Pifco Whirlwind is a lot more rarer than a generic uh, CED fan, because it is basically just a generic cheap fan. What do you expect? 
missing plaster, hence that. You can warm out this plastic fan. Model STF12, 12 inch desk fan. Voltage, AC, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 45 watts. This appliance must be earth, distributed by CET UK LTT. This fan is made in 1996. This fan is made in the 1960s. I don't know the exact year. They flow well in. Model number 1188. 240 watts, 44 watts, so less, less, like one watt less than the CED. But that really doesn't matter when it comes to power because if watts depended on how powerful the fan was, because CED would be stronger, but it's not. Uh, blade diameter 12 inches or 305 millimeters. Remove the plug or disconnect from the mains before removing this cover. That also applies to that fan. Also, wall mount but also metal plastic. Notice that. Also, this one is slightly thicker. This the pith coat. Anyways, we're gonna lift the fans back up and I'll show you the cords. Look, this is the Pithco cord. It is way longer than the CED and it feels much better. The CED cord feels a lot more cheaper and not as good. This cord feels much better in construction, but of course, I'm not great with cords. Still, much longer cord, much better. These are the plugs. I doubt that's the original plug, and I doubt that's the original cord to this. To the Pifco, but for the CED, this is probably original. Now, here's the part probably lots of you have been waiting for. Test. So let's start them both up to low. Listen about how the CED is more noisier, and the Pifco sounds better, even. If you remove the irritating noise, the pivco will sound way better. There you go, the feeling. The pivco is a lot more stronger in airflow. Medium. Also the Pifco has oil ports, the CED does not, which makes the Pifco a lot easier to oil. The Pifco is much better in construction than that fan, that fan's a flimsy constructed fan. Hi! So yeah. I'm wondering that fan was stronger or medium. The Pifco is also stronger and high. Both fans have been oiled and I'll demonstrate their spin down time. Wow. Look at the difference. see pretty cheap fan good fan cheap fan good fan and honestly this fan is way better than an SMZ fan but I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments on what you think this fan's quieter and stronger in airflow than this one and it's better in construction but I want to hear what everyone thinks in the comments like that's what I want to do. I want to hear what everyone, like everyone watching this video, I want you to comment what you think. Which fan is better, and and tell me why. 
I I'll be interested and I'll try and heart all the comments unless YouTube doesn't want to notify me. Okay? See ya. Which fan is better? I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see ya.